for me to do some Halloween looks and I have a pretty extensive lineup this year but for the first look we're gonna keep it pretty simple I'm gonna be Jessica Rabbit but we're gonna do a black girl rendition of her uh, because you know black girl and I just don't see a whole lot of like aside from the cosplayers I don't see it as a Halloween costume for black girls and I don't know why because Black girls could definitely pull off that hourglass figure. Hello. Like, so I bought everything off of Amazon. So this can all be purchased off of Amazon. And I am going to post a picture for you guys so y'all can shop the look at the end of the video. Orange wig. Uh, I bought the purple gloves, which was pretty simple. Her costume's very easy. Like, it's not hard to find purple gloves and a red dress. And I got it sequenced because, you know, she has, like, the glitter dress going on. So I got it sequenced. So, you know, it gives off that party kind of vibe. I mean, I think it has a pretty long slit on it. It sure does. It has the long slit there. Um, because you know she got that leg out. <laughs> now I had to go out and buy some red heels because I don't have a pair of red heels. Because where would I wear red heels? But now that I have them, I'm about to find some outfits to wear with it because it just can't be for Halloween. And since you know we're pissing them off with Ariel, I figured, you know, I might as well go ahead and add Jessica Rabbit to the stand. Go ahead and add her. Too. So um, I'm gonna do a quick little makeup like a video tutorial for you guys and do a little get ready so y'all can see everything. All right, so jumping straight into this, I'm putting some edge control down on my edges so I can comb all that back and put a wig cap on because I am wearing a wig for this look, of course. Now, I'm going to go ahead and disclaimer you real quick. I am not a makeup artist, okay? I dabble in makeup just enough to uh, cover up my my dark circles okay that is it i am the girly who's doing all the shortcuts i am a lazy makeup person i don't i just don't want to spend that kind of time and i had already made up my mind when i went into doing this look that i was not going to dedicate two hours to makeup so i'm doing pretty much my basic base that i would wear any and every other day i only go in with concealer because i don't know my foundation color okay so it's for the girlies who don't know their foundation color she is me i am you we are we are one okay so i'm going in with two colors i go in with a concealer that is my shade i go in with one that's a shade lighter and then i go in with a shade darker boom i have my skin tone highlight and contour and then the concealer is just so much more easier to work with at least for me so i'm just going in and just you know blending it out so it looks as clean as possible even though i am rushing through this because it's a sunday night i have to get my kids ready for school but anyways that's aside aside from the point back to the video so now i'm just setting everything going in with my favorite beauty bakery flower and this is in the color i believe casanova or banana it's always the yellow one but that's the one i'm using and i make sure i'm very heavy on it because i always sweat and shine in those areas i'm then going in with the fenty beauty mocha mommy this this is the um, bronzer. Um, I go very lightly with this because a little goes a long way with that one. And that's why I love it so much. Buff it all out with a nice fluffy brush and then spray my face down with some setting spray. I'm then gonna go in with my blush and this is by Juvia's Place. And I'm, I believe I went in with the pinky one. Again, this is just a base. I'm not really concentrating on that. Now, I did go pretty heavy with my highlighter. I do not usually walk around with this much highlight on my face, but since we're doing like a showgirl look, I felt like the big play on the highlight was, you know, gonna give me the dramatic effect that I wanted. I picked up this cheap $5 palette from Walmart. It had the purple in there that I felt was going to work because that was the only color I was concerned about. I do not do the five different colors on the eyelids anymore. I've been there, done that, won't go back to it. So I'm going in with one little brush and I'm patting that color in there. Now it did, I did have to dig. I had to dig into that palette to get that sh that color to show up. There was a $5 palette from Walmart. I was not expecting Homegirl to come with the tea. I just needed her to get the job done for me to take my pictures for 30 minutes. So then I go with a nice little buffer brush and blend it out with that like orangey clay red color 
because it's my skin tone, I feel like it was going to help me give me that more smoky eye effect because I feel like if I went in with more purple, it's going to look like I had a black eye and we don't want that. I smoked it out with the water, the purple on the waterline, went in with some mascara. I use Maybelline Homegirl, okay, nothing crazy over here and now it's time for the lips. Now, of course, she has that bold red lip, but I forgot to buy a red lipstick. So I'm going in with a brown liner and then I went in with this like clay red uh, like color I didn't have a bold red but I went behind it with a burgundy lip gloss and that really helped it like bring out the more bold dramatic effect went in with these crazy lashes these are definitely not my type of lashes these are way too big but again we're going for a dramatic look now it's time for the wig I decided to go in with the afro honey because a black girl match it absolutely Absolutely. Bringing in the afro, this curly wig that I tried on last year and purchased and it's been sitting in the closet just waiting for its moment to shine and I was going to give it its moment. So I had to shake the dust and the cobwebs up off of her and fluff her out. It took a lot of fluffing because again, homegirl was sitting in the bottom of the bin for a year. So she needed some desperate TLC and help. All right. So it took me about another 15, 20 minutes just to get that wig right. Now I wish that I didn't cut it as much as I did because she did come a lot longer when I first purchased her but I'm more for the shaping of the afro and that's why I chopped her off but she still looked good. All right so I have the dress on and this has got to be the itchiest dress I have ever purchased and had to wear. I have the pumps on too and the pumps are actually very comfortable like really comfortable and I think I'm in love with them. This is it I didn't have to put some spanks on because I just ate, so I got a little food baby going on. Um, but of course, when I take my pictures, I'm gonna be sunking in like my waist. Like I'm gonna edit the photo to have like the really, really teeny waist. So, yeah, this is the look, guys, and we're about to take pictures. So these are what my pictures look like. As you can see, my waist is very much touched up and dramatic, okay? This is not real. Instagram is not real. Please don't take it as seriously as you do. And that's the end of this look. It completes my Jessica Rabbit Halloween costume. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. Stay tuned for more Halloween inspiration for 2022. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.